My name is Christina Byler. I'm 29 years old. I work in marketing and I have been keeping a secret from my family and friends. I am a juggalette. From a very young age, I knew that I was a juggalette. I've always just grown up feeling different. My best friend's name is Josh. He is the only friend or family member that I have told my secret to. I first met Christina about five years ago. It was at a Home Depot and the line was long and the store was busy so no one was going anywhere. Christina was right behind me and she just cracked a funny joke and uh, we just started talking and joking and uh, we've been best friends ever since. I feared being shunned away from my family. I came over here today as I told you to tell you something. I just love you. Um, and this is actually like honestly like a little hard for me to tell you right now But I'm just gonna come out and say it right now I am a juggalette That's it That's it And mom that's it oh. Sweetie, I will always love you. Come here. Oh. <laughs> well, I always knew she was she was different. She stuck out in the school pictures. I'm so glad she got that off her chest. You know, I will always love her. Christina, she's amazing. All of her work always comes out to be very satisfactory. Uh, she's going to go really far in this industry, I can tell. I don't know much about her personal life, but she seems like a really wonderful woman. She probably gets out of work, goes home, throws something on Netflix, makes a little stir fry, and calls it a night. Hopefully we get to know her a little bit more outside of the work environment. Hey Dan, how you doing? Good, Christina. How are you? I'm doing really well, thank you for asking. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to uh, work here at Benson Marketing. It's been just a really amazing work experience for me. Secondly, um, I wanted to touch on a more of a sensitive topic. The reason I want to discuss that is because I do want to grow with this company and I feel like I shouldn't hold anything back. That being said, I would like to tell you that I am a juggalette. Yeah, I know. What is a juggalo? Let me think for a second. Um, he get butt naked. Then he walks through the streets winking at freaks. With a two liter stuck in his butt cheeks. What is a juggalo? A juggalo. Can I get something started for you? Yeah, uh, you guys have mimosas, right? Yeah. Could I have a mimosa and an orange juice uh, separate? And I know this is going to sound weird, but could you just put that on a separate tab and I'll pay for that? Okay, cool. All right, stop. I know you're gonna judge me. I know how bad this looks, okay? But I'm not an alcoholic. Mimosas have great vitamin C, and honestly, I have a headache so bad that if it just helps for an hour, I'll take it. Besides, I can tell that Anna is not gonna be pleased, so a little bit of a buzz might help. All right, let's go in. 
You actually just take that. I'm done. How are you feeling? Well, sick. I feel like shit, if that's what you want to know. I mean... I'm really sorry about last night. I didn't mean the things I said. It's just, I had too much, you know? Everyone has a bad night. What is that? It's just orange juice. Is it? Yeah, as if I'd be drinking after last night. Are you kidding? I want to be the first. I'm, do you even remember last night? No? Of course I do. I mean, you made a complete ass out of yourself. You embarrassed me in front of all my friends. I'm sorry. I thought I was honestly just trying to be funny. And I know that I fucked up, all right? Well, it wasn't funny, and I think you're an alcoholic. Okay, that's a little over the top. I can't be an alcoholic. I'm 27. Well, turning 28. But... I mean, it's not like I'm under a bridge or anything, like... What does that even mean? I know I haven't been the best boyfriend lately. If there was an award show for worst boyfriend of the year, I'd probably win that award. I get that. Yeah, you'd win that Academy Award. And this is my fault. I'm done. I'm sick and tired. It's such a drainage. I've been working too hard, and I just haven't been... I just haven't been taking care of things. I know, okay? But... Who knows, by this time next year, show could be on cable or, you know, we could get more staff writers or something. Like, I can tell that this show is going to be the difference maker and I won't have to be struggling all the time. You have to promise me you will not be drunk tonight. Please. Can you do that? All of us here at Really Late Night, like, would... Um, all of us at Really Late Night would like to wish you an extra super duper happy holiday. What's the longest you think you've overslept? I don't know, like 15 hours? See, that's what I thought, but the other day I slept for 23 hours. You think it's normal to sleep for 23 hours? Like in a row or all together? All right, just let me know when I'm good. Hi, and happy holidays from all of us over here at Really Late Night with Matt Strzok. No matter how you celebrate, this season is great to hang out with friends, family, and even enjoy just a nice cup of hot cocoa. Do you remember what it was like when you found out Santa Claus didn't exist? Well, that's everything. Everything is Santa Claus. Pop quiz, hot shot, who built the pyramids? You know who else had a private server? Cleopatra. What about the jet streams? Why am I doing this? Is my need for love and attention so deep that I've crafted a whole show around myself? All the reindeer are gone. I'm so tired of making people laugh when it makes one cry. I am Santa Claus. Well, who built the pyramids? That technology didn't exist yet. It was easy to kiss and echo. What kind of sick species would make horseshoes but not horse socks? Horse Crocs. Please, I don't want to do this show anymore. Someone help me. Donald Trump is just a hologram of our collective conscience. Who built the pyramids? None of these snowflakes are different. None of them! Unfortunately, some of us on the holidays have to spend it alone. I personally cheer myself up by watching a holiday movie or even just dancing. How was that? It was all right. <laughs> I didn't look too hungover on camera, did I? That's just kind of how you look. Oh, thanks. You know. Yeah, I uh, went to a birthday thing with Anna last night, and let's just say it was a really long night. You mean a really late night? Nah, I see what you did there. Hey, we should put that in the show. We should. Hey, man, let me show you the music video we got back from. Oh Maryland. yeah, here. Let me get the light. All right.
my name is Juice Town. I'm the cleverest above all of the rest. That's why they call me Mount Everest. Snowstorm, ice box in the back, stepping a juice box. The only rapper in this Fud Rucker's juice box. Mountain Dew coat, blue fresh out the sanitarium. Drinking like a fish, lost in the aquarium. You've never been kissed. I do very more. I bury finding money, finding Nemo land. Sharks, I ain't scared of them. Listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in the blue world And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue Like him inside and outside Blue his house with the blue little window And a blue car wreck And everything is blue for him and himself And everybody around Cause he ain't got nobody to listen Oh, awesome, dude. That looks a lot better. Do you think they could put, like, more Simpsons characters in and maybe have it fritz out a little bit more before the chorus? Yeah, I'll let them know. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm going to go change. Um, I'll see you at the meeting. Yep, see All you right. up there. See you upstairs. Get out of here.